How you guys doing? Got a new machine. Have to make a new video. Um, this will be a video basically on the setup and everything about the new Evader 2. And then again, I'll go over the Cobra 2 as well. Switch switch cords. Also, the setups with normal and uh, cartridges. I'm going to start off with the Evader just because it's the newest one. Everyone's probably excited. So, I will set it up. I'll go ahead and uh, go with the cartridges first. One thing I always note open this up a little bit so that it's uh, really loose to put on. It's not like super hard to push down. Otherwise, it just chokes the stroke on the system. don't recommend Cheyenne carts. They're just too damn heavy. So basically when I put it in here, if I push it forward I can see how far the needle comes out. So that's going to basically allow me to adjust for that. I'm probably going to want maybe so. Let's start with that. Now, I'm looking at this machine. I'm trying to see where it rests in here. I'm going to go ahead and run it and see if I have a stroke. Right now, it's not a very big stroke. It's a good stroke. If I open it up, I have a good stroke. Adjust my needle again here. And push it up a little slightly more. Actually, we'll run it while we. Let's see, let's get a needle where we want. Alright, there we go. It looks more normal. See how it choked your stroke a little bit? It's smaller in the back. Take in your rubber band and just looping it over the top that's what you do with the cart it's going to give you a nice huge stroke now obviously adjust your speed and your stroke with this as well I'm going to shorten up that needle length Some of these uh, plungers can be loud. That's why I still like having this over here. You can kind of hear if I don't have it how loud it is. Just throw it. So, regardless, let's see, that's a 27.
my favorite. I like the 27s and the 8s with the 9s, 9 liners. Alright. If you have problems with the cartridges, I always suggest messing with the length because where the plunger hits, you always pretty much want to have a stroke that's in the middle of this window. You don't want to have a stroke that's always down here or always back here. You want to get it to where you're having a free floating stroke in the window there. Of course, these help. This adjustment will also make more spring sometimes. But basically, you're just, you find that sweet spot and then you can adjust your stroke from there. Regular needles, this machine is just completely amazing. I almost want to uh, test and put a little challenge out there against coils. <coughs> like I said, always kind of open up the eye and needle a little bit just so it can sit nice and easy on that grommet. Normal needles, like I said, this machine runs so freaking smooth. Get a focus on the needle there. Guarantee this will line better than any coil on the market. Man, this tube is just whack. Is it broken inside? I think this tube is actually broken inside. Okay, that's 
that. Sometimes you don't get all those best ones. So what's new on this one, on the last version, is obviously the body. It kind of took over the, the body of the Cobra 2. You can see how the internals are different. But the outside looks very similar. The adjuster is, more, is obviously a lot tighter, like the Cobra 2. The frame is lighter. Everything is quieter more compact all our magnets have been relocated to tune it better to give us more of a steady hit really soft I mean this thing just feels like a perfect liner shader Super steady, no vibration. I think I opened up my needle too much or something like that. I'd take a broken tooth from the, my movie. Oh well. Not that there's not much to learn about setting up a normal needle. I always suggest when people take off the cords, always spin it clockwise if you need to spin it at all to pull it off. If you turn it counterclockwise, you can unscrew it and mess up the wiring. Um, do not add oil anywhere inside of here. If you have to for any odd reason, if it just feels super stiff, I always tell people, run it and do this. Like if it gets stiff on you, which it doesn't really, but if it did, if you squeeze on this, this circle here, on this circle here, and just kind of give it pressure. You just give it pressure to where I want to stop the machine. Just let it run like that. All you're doing is kind of just compacting it. When you let it go, now it's free, have a lot of room to move again. Shouldn't have to do that, but if you had to, 
Let's just pinch it. That's pretty much all there is to know. Basically everything the same is with the Cobra. Cobra is a lot heavier hater. I mean this thing has just got balls. I don't know if you can see that much indentation it puts on my skin. This is definitely, uh, if you use heavy carts, this machine will push heavy carts just because there's so much thrust behind here. The centrifugal force is what's basically putting all that thrust. Whereas the Evader, it uses magnetic. So there's nothing touching the motor to the armature bar. So any resistance has effect. The least resistance you can put on this machine at the, at the uh, stroke length you like the better this machine will run. The more resistance, the more problems you get. So, this machine, it's also free floating, but it's got a lot of power behind it. A lot of, you know, basically you can see that offset weight just zinging around like a carnival ride. One that would make you really sick. And that generates a lot of G-force. I'm going to save some time in the video and not even set this one up. It's no different than setting up this one. Always check that the armature is not choking the hell out of the armature bar. I mean the needle, I mean. Um, same thing, if for some reason you need that to lead to it, just wrap that, rubber, that side of that rubber band around and back over the, the grommet. But together, I would say this is a color packer. Definitely a solid hitting machine. Uh, you have to do anything color, tribal, black. This thing will just pack, pack, pack. You can turn it down, and I would like to do black and gray with it. Lining. I trained myself to do all of that with this machine before this one came out. So it is feasible. These machines can basically do any job. But definitely for color packing. This guy, an amazing lining and shader. I don't think you'll find anything else on the market that can do what this can do. Well, a coil, but not even as good as this. Um, cords come in three different colors. Green, blue, and red. All the machines you can see on the website come in different variations of colors. Same with the foot switches. Um, these come in basically a magnetic. There's two magnets in here, so there's no metal springs, nothing will ever break. This will always deflect itself. Um, these are also magnetic, and when you step on them, they'll kind of bend and compress, giving you a feel from all around. If you don't like that, I also made it to where you can just pull these off. And it's a standard foot switch, you just barely touch it, and it's sensitive. When it comes to cleaning and maintaining these machines, everybody, please do not, do not spray these machines directly. Spray your rag first, wipe your machine. Ultimately, these are very small, compact. You can bag these if you want to, um, and still easily adjust this even when it's bagged. Um, but never spray anything in here. I've had some people just destroying them lately, and I don't know if it's their apprentices or what, but you got to teach your apprentice, whoever sets you up, breaks you down, you need to, you know, basically show them what's electrical, what's not. 
they understand that just everything needs to be sanitized. Everything needs to be completely sterilized. And they're just coating everything, saturating it. And then they walk away, go have a cigarette, and let it do its thing. Well, all that time, it's just creeping and going through every little mated part in here. Then they wipe it down, think it's all good, walk away, and they just keep pr reducing that process, producing that process over and over and over. Eventually, that water will get into the motor. It will cause all kinds of bad stuff. Cause you money, cost me money. So, please, take care of your products. Um, they're investments. They can return your money a hundred times fold, okay? They look expensive, but like I said, you take care of it, it'll last a long time, and it'll return your profit a hundred times fold. So, or your investment, I'm sorry. I don't think there's any other questions uh, that people have asked. Everything is 100% warranty. Um, unless, like, you start burning out motors left and right, you keep returning it every week with a burnt motor, I mean, we're going to have a discussion. Um, we're going to figure out what's going on because that just doesn't happen. If uh, anything is taken apart on the Evader 2, you remove this screw or you remove this screw, it will not function the way it was when you got it from the box. I do not suggest even messing with your screws at all. Um, if for some reason you do down the road have issues, whatever, you can contact me one-on-one. -on -one. We can Skype, do whatever. We'll get it figured out. I'll show you how to maintain it or get in there if you have to, or you can just send it back to me. Real simple. But if it was just something that you feel like you want to do on your own, uh, please contact me first. And that's about it. Same with the everything. Do not take them apart. Um, anything breaks... To get it replaced or repaired, you have to send it to me. Um, cords go out, just send it in with a little note saying, hey, this doesn't work. I can check it, see that it doesn't work, send you a new one. Um, if I just get messages saying that, hey, you know, my pedal doesn't work, send me another one. If I don't get one in the mail, I won't remember you for one, and probably I'm not going to send it out because you could just be get, saying that all day long. Or you bought one, you really liked it, and hey, your buddy wants one, he just paid you 200 bucks, and you said, you know what, I'm just going to play a little scam and say mine broke and get it. No, it's not going to happen. If I don't get it back, it doesn't go back out. Um, plain and simple. Everything else seems to be pretty self-explanatory, as long as you're a professional. Um, I hope everyone that got their machines enjoys them. I'm really pleased with this version. This is an amazing shader and liner. Alright, till next product.